the party through the, for the, through the deputy uh, through the deputy minority whip stated that they're happy you're Look, gone. They are he, he called you a yes. cancer. What are your response to that? Listen What's your to response? me. You know, these are my friends. We were together last night. The politics is not about what you hear. Politician. Sometimes I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. You know, you know, my orientation is a little bit different. I live in a foreign country where you know I have learned a lot about the democratic doctrine that have inspired me to come back to Nigeria to give my little service to this great nation. Nigeria can be a, a better and greater country if all of us collectively, without playing partisan politics, we can drive this country to a greater height. Not about uh, castigating, abusing Mr. President, insulting President left and right. Let's be constructive in our criticism. So the, quest, the point I'm trying to tell you is that the, my friend, that is uh, the minority, is not the uh, Honorable Tutu who made that statement. But if you, if you could remember, I move a point of order. I raise a point of order. The speaker already saw where I was going to. He, he cleared the air by saying, that was wrong. You can't say that I'm a cancer. They have been begging me. Or, I don't know, to be honest to you, they have been calling me, say, EJ, you can't do this to us. Let's work together. I say, my brother, I've been in that place for too long. Let me step away. Because I can't continue to dwell on this type of impunity that they have continued to do and they impose on people. And that is the reason why Senator Ali Mondi Sherif, he fought, he fought and fought. Let's move this uh, party forward. Member, honorable, and they refused. Honorable member. So today, if they are saying I'm a cancer, why would they be calling me honorable that member, I shouldn't leave? Honorable member, so let's, that let's, is politics let, yes, at, let, you know, at the highest order. Let's, so let's get I, am gone, I am gone for good. I'm gonna, I am I, back I, to I, APC we under, we understand and that, I remain sir. in APC. We understand that, Thank you very much. L let, me just, let me go. I, I just want to ask you one very sharp question. And go I'm ahead. I'm here. answer it squarely. Yes. Is this. We know that Section 68... Subsection, subsection one. Two, no, no, not one. Okay, go ahead. Subsection one or two. two go ahead. is where I was going to go. It says very clearly that the, sen the President of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives shall give effect. Now, the reason why I, I bring that up is because we know that no defection based on that subsection of the Constitution can be said to be valid, can be said to be lawful, unless and unless it has been declared in the House after a presentation of evidence by the Speaker of the House, the, in your case. The, uh, yes. now, the, the this, Speaker or the Senate President. Now, this is the challenge. This yes. is the challenge. In, yes. tw in, 20, in October, we saw that there was a defection at a time when there was no, by the court of law, there was no faction within the PDP. Now, the Speaker, an APC member, did not declare those seats vacant. No, he was knows it the not law. Be, was it not because, was he, it not because the there law. was going to the APC? Look, no, listen, that's, we are getting it wrong. The Honorable Speaker Yakubu Dogara is a man of wisdom. Not only that, he's a lawyer. He knows the law. He's a lawmaker, not a lawbreaker. But then shouldn't he have stood on the Supreme Court precedent that was already listen, set? Listen, don't forget. I've already told you. you. You are not... Just listen to me. Mm -hmm. Just listen to me, my dear. Is there fashion in PDP? I say PDP has been fashionalized. Okay? There's, you know, there's a division now. There's division. You have a splitter group that have left. You have Professor Adedoja, who is also in court, challenging for notifying the outcome of the convention because there was, there was fraud in it. It was done under illegality. You cannot deprive a, a, Petro, a Nigerian. It's not, it has not been proved beyond reasonable doubt that it's a criminal who contested, was cleared, was given certificate of clearance to participate in the PDP national chairmanship. At the end of the day, he was excluded. What do you call that? That is impunity of the highest order, and it, it is also corruption that we must fight for this country. Look, this country belongs to all of us, for God's sake. Whether PDP, the name PDP is not a problem. The name PDP is not a problem. The people inside, they have been said to perpetuate fraud, knowing fully what you are doing is wrong, and you are blaming, you were blaming Senator Ali Morishere. Now, where is Senator Ali Morishere on this now? Is he Mr. I was he listening to the uh, spokesman, you know, yesterday, trying to say, oh, oh, these are APC in disguise. I said, give me a break. A house divided can never stand. Don't put your blame on APC or anyone else. Put the blame on yourself because you have you thought you are God. You are playing God. You can't uh, play honorable, God. 
You uh, cannot. Uh, they have been playing God for a while. I have been patient. I have been patient. They have been pleading honorable with member, me. Honorable, pleading. Honorable member, Don't go. Don't go. Member, now, I, I, have to, enough, I have to. I have to I have go. To, yes, I have to interject here because. Thank you. Go ahead. Before we before we go to Lagos. Yes. The the the, the issue at hand is going to come down to if you if the Supreme Court it has made that has set that precedent and the Speaker of the House if this is if this is what is happening and the Speaker of the House no matter what the what the Supreme Court has has said still says that if, if he is not going to declare your seat vacant it will not be declared vacant no matter what anybody says he has to give effect what are your thoughts on that and is it possible that the speaker or any presiding officer is now biased in favor of any particular party yes, in look, this issue? Look, Mr. Ajiri, my dear brother, Nigerians are watching us. This is not a child's play. This is serious business. This is a serious matter and we shouldn't just play around it as if it's nothing. For God's sake, Mr. Speaker, the Right Honorable Speaker, Yakubu Dogara, you know, he's a man of, of repute. He's a lawmaker. Who don't understand the scope of laws. So, do you think he can just declare the seat vacant? Well, he knows. He said that, look, this is wrong. There is a problem. TDP is fashionalized. So, why are you trying to sweep down that table? You know that they have issues. They should answer. Why do they deprive the uh, man that was uh, giving uh, certificate of clearance uh, to, con to be a part of the convention? Why? Uh, why today? Is the court challenging them? And again, you have different honorable member, party me honorable no, member, national, you know, honorable, party headquarters. Honorable member, you I'm have sorry. it too. So, Hon my dear brother, maybe if you want to play politics, uh, come uh, and join uh, us. Honorable member, we'll come and join us. We'll be happy so that you can member, learn more about this. Honorable member, thank, thank you. you, thank you very much uh, for joining us this morning on the program.